this is such an honour, especially as I feel that I've never done a day's work in my life. I truly love what I do. In the last 25 years, I've auditioned and cast thousands of children and sat through many renditions of Consider Yourself, Castle on a Cloud, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and Let's Go Fly a Kite. Not always entirely in tune, it must be said. Last month, history was made, as far as I was concerned. I was casting the children for Joseph and the amazing technical the Dreamcoat, and I cast a nine-year-old girl whose father played Oliver in 1995. <laughs> this is very precious to me. I think that having our work recognised is, of course, wonderful, whatever we do. But when it's recognised by those in the same club, it means even more. And this I can't quantify what it means to me. At Mountview, we are doing all we can to ensure that everyone has access to the best drama training. So while our building is designed for delivering our world-class vocational training in performance and production arts, it is also a home for the professional community to develop and rehearse new work and a home for the local community including the 300 local young people that come through our doors each Saturday. And that's what a drama school should be. It should be a nurturing place of fun, of uh, challenging, inspirational activity that creates a society for young people and offers world-class training. I've been fortunate to make my living doing the things that I love most, putting on shows and dealing with theatre buildings. I've enjoyed pretty much every day of my career and worked with some enormously talented people. And I got paid for it. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. Thank you very much. <laughs>